Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm very happy to have you here because today we're looking at C. And I don't think you will ever see C the same again after you see this lesson. <laughs> okay, that was bad, but I really think you're gonna love this leg, right? It sounds super cool and it makes all the difference when you're playing these open chords. Chord wise, all we need today is a C, an F, major 7, which is just like 1, 2, 3 from the B string, and the high E open, and a G. Alright, but we're going to do something very different with this G chord you might have never done before. Alright, so, yeah. Um, and then we just need to play this lick, alright? Alright. Uh, which, yeah, sounds really nice. Now, that is basically the same lick is the one we did in G that you might have, you might have seen. Um, if you've not seen that, make sure to put a video at the end so we can check that out. But, because it's in the key of C and we're doing a lot of different things, it just sounds very different and really cool. So let's break down the lick first and then I'll show you how to fill it in with the chord progression and then I'm going to show you how you can add these really nice embellishments that makes everything so much more melodic as well. Okay, so we're going to take a third finger from uh, 3 on the B, slide up to 5 on the B, and then we're going to get our index finger on 3 on the high E. Now it's important we use those right fingers, right? We need to use our third finger, so we've got our index 3 here, okay? We want to make sure we get that note in first, we don't do a fast slide, we want to get the note and then slide, alright? And then 3. And then I want to take a third finger and slide from five back to three again on the B. And then I want to pull off to one on the B. Now don't worry if you don't get your finger on there yet when you come back to three. As long as you get your finger on as you're pulling that note off, you'll get it. Like that. Now, if you're struggling with that, pull off. Again, you can just pick the note, it still sounds good. All right. And then we're going to take a middle finger, and then pull two off on the G, two to zero. Like that, all right? And that's it. So now we want to fill that leg in between our chords, okay? So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to play two bars in each chord, okay? And the strumming I'm going to use, I'm going to go down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, down, and then I'm going to play my leg. And that'll basically give me two and a half bars, okay? With two bars, uh, with two beats left for the leg, okay? So that would go one, Okay, now, depending on where I am, like if I'm in a C, I'll use my pinky to start the lick, alright, because my pinky's free. So that'll take a little bit of work, so you've got to practice getting that lick with your pinky as well. Alright, so I'm going to kick it off with the lick, and uh, yeah, it'll sound like this. nice enough right but there's a lot more we can do with that okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my G here rather than play a G like this after I come from F I'm going to move this up uh, this chord up two frets all right so instead of having one two three I'm going to have three four five and still that high E and this is going to be my G chord okay and then I'm going to add in some embellishments so for the C chord, I'm going to do this, okay? So, 
All I'm doing here is I'm taking my middle finger and getting those notes, okay? So if I had to take all these fingers off, just so I can show you what I'm doing, I'm going hammering on two on the D, open on the G, back to two on the D, then I'm hammering on G, on two, and sometimes I like to get that B string with it. So it's like a little double stop. Back to two. On the D and then hammer on again. Pull off, oh sorry, just get the note open. And then back into the, the bass note, right? So, strum. Strum and then I'm going to go right into the lick. And the important thing is that we just land on that bass note for the next chord, all right? So. Okay, and then we come back into the A, if after that lick, I just need to land on that, that note here, right? I get three on the D string. And then I go right into my F embellishment, which is very similar, sounds like this. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm hammering on. I'm taking my finger off that G string, my middle finger, and I'm hammering on. Then I'm getting the one where my finger already is, on the F, on the B, and back to two. Then I'm gonna hammer my pinky on, all right? That's from one to three on the B. And then off again. Back to two on the G, and then hammer on, off again, and then the note and strum. All right. And then the lick again using my pinky. So all that together goes like this. Okay, and now I'm going to get in my G part. So I'm going to take my third finger and I'm just going to slide that up. Get the D string first and I can just strum that down and slide it up. And then instead of doing the lick, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to do this, right, which is kind of cool. I'm going to take my pinky and pull that off. Okay, again, my first finger is already on three on the, uh, the B. Okay, and I'm going to go. Okay, so pull off. Then I'm going to get that um, G string. But it's on four. We'll do that five times. Pull off. And then I'm going to change the lick a little bit. I'm going to take my pinky and do this. I'm going to slide from five. Oh, sorry, seven. Oh, five to six. Back again. Three to one. Zero, and then finish off with the C. And that's it guys, you can take as much of that as you like, you can do your own thing with that. Again, it's just to give you a couple of ideas to mess around with yourself. Alright guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next lesson.